Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up with other tech. And this is the year of the UMPC comeback. Quote unquote. For those who are fans of the UMPC, there's a couple of Chinese companies that are trying to bring back the UMPC. And UMPC is an acronym that stands for Ultra Mobile PC. PC stands for Personal Computer. So we just call it PC for short. Two prominent companies that are making UMPCs right now are GPD, which makes the Win Series UMPCs, um, made the GPD Win, the GPD Pocket, and some other um, portable PCs, and also made the GPD XD, which was an Android device that looks similar to a Nintendo Switch, and it ran Android, so you can play Android games and emulators that were in the Play Store for Android. So GPD is one company. One netbook is the other company that has made last year the awesome One GX1, which I have right here. And the successor to this is going to be called the One GX1 Pro. Um, and the pre-sale is already up. And there's a new contender that's going to be coming out. And for those of you who don't know what the GPD looks like, Here's some pictures of the GPD-1.3 and you can easily go on Google and look it up. And here's some pictures of the One GA1 Pro. It's going to be black in color. This one is a teal green looking color. So this one was is the predecessor. The GX1 Pro is a successor. But another company is coming into the ring with a UMPC. And this one is called the Aya Neo. Now the Fox has done some coverage of this months ago on this channel and I looked at it, checked it out and then I was instantly attracted to it because this particular UMPC looks just like a Nintendo Switch. So there's your screen, side controls, they're not detachable but it looks really, really close to a Nintendo Switch and that is awesome. Well, this is a full-fledged PC. Now it doesn't have a keyboard as you can see but it's a touch screen, so you can have the uh, touch keyboard on there. And most likely it's going to have Bluetooth so that you can connect a portable Bluetooth keyboard to it and mouse if you want to to make it a full fledged PC. And it probably has some kind of HDMI out where you can connect it to a monitor. But again, with this coming into the ring along with GPD and one netbook, competition is starting to tighten up a little bit, which is awesome. Now, as far as the specs of the INEO, um, I just put down some key specs right here. It's going to support a 7-inch screen. It's going to have an AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor. And I wish that I can compare this processor to an Intel processor because pretty much all of my devices that I've owned, as far as PCs, had Intel processors in them. So I have no idea how to compare the power, processing power to a, an Intel processor. It's also going to support a Radeon RX Vega 6 GPU. Now, there is one uh, website or one place I looked online, uh, and this is uh, NovoCheck, and they compared the power of the Vega 6 to in between the NVIDIA GeForce MX230 and the GeForce MX150. So the power of that GPU is in between these two NVIDIA GPUs. And those are used in some low-end uh, PCs. So that's kind of cool that you can compare to actual NVIDIA GPUs. So it's going to run some pretty cool games. And it's definitely going to run some AAA games, as you can see right here. I mean, that's the Cyber... Punk 2077 wallpaper, but it does run Cyberpunk 2077. So you can go on YouTube and check out some videos and see the gameplay of that. And getting back to the specs. So like I said, cool processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's gonna have um, either 512 or one terabyte of storage, or 512 gigabytes, excuse me or one terabyte of storage, and it's gonna support a 12,300 milliamp battery. So, comparing to the GPD Win 3 and the GX1 Pro, if you're gonna do some light usage on here, you're looking at maybe 10 hours of uh, usage on it. If you're gonna do some medium 
usage on the device, you're looking at maybe five to six hours. And some heavy duty graphical games, you're looking at maybe two, maybe up to three hours of usage time um, on that device, based on the battery. But like I said, it looks just like a Nintendo Switch. So you got two analog sticks, you got a dedicated uh, D-pad, unlike the One GX1 controller, side controller, or your D-pad are like buttons because you can detach them and use this one controller as one separate controller because I mean it does come with two because they're separate controllers so you can use both for one game or if you want two people to play one person can use this one and one person can use this one just like the Nintendo Switch. So like the Nintendo Switch was a big big influence on a lot of these UMPCs that are coming out today. And the UMPCs, like I said, um, will do a lot more than the Nintendo Switch. So it's going to, like I said, have your PC games, Android games, because you can have an amulet, Android emulator on your PC and your um, old school emulators to also play games. So these, again, are your key specs. And like I said, just based on the videos that I've seen and the gameplay that I've seen on this device, it's not necessarily going to give... The Win 3 or the GX1 Pro a run for their money, but it's just showing that there are other people that can put their hat into the ring to say, hey, let's release this and hopefully we'll get people to uh, crowdfund for our devices so that they can make money of their device to make newer products that will hopefully give GBD and One Netbook a run for their money to kind of force them to up their game. Because like I said, GPD, GPD has been around longer than the other companies. And they have a lot more money to use to make better products. So more than likely, GPD will up their game in the future to continue to get your dollars. So I'm just happy that uh, the Ionia will be coming out. And according to their tweet, um, they're going to be releasing a campaign. As a matter of fact... GPD, their campaign has already been released on Indiegogo a few days ago. So if you're interested in a GPD Win 3, go there and search for it. I know that the cheapest one is going to be six, no, seven ninety nine, and the most expensive one is going to be nine forty nine. And they're all going to have one terabyte storage, so no five twelve for the GPD Win 3, which is cool. The GP, the GX1 Pro for one netbook um those are on pre-sale pre on geek buying um aliexpress and and amazon there's a company that decided to put it on there and it says that it's in stock from that company and i believe that company is in china which means that if you do purchase it you have to wait probably three weeks or so to actually get it so um, from what I've seen on Amazon, I guess you can expect the device around the first week Feb between February and um, a little bit into March. So that's still cool that you could order the GX1 Pro and get it a lot sooner than the Gen 3 or the Ioneo. So according to the tweet, the camp for the Ioneo, uh, the campaign is going to last for 30 days. Super early bird, limited price. Of six ninety nine US dollars, seven hundred bucks. So that's what I want to say. That is the same price as the Win Three. And again, it's only going to have, um, as far as differences in the devices, five twelve or one terabyte storage. So the processor and the GPU will will remain the same in both devices that come out for it. So like I said, the early bird price is going to be six ninety nine. So it's going to rise later. So I would suggest when they launch their campaign that you get it within the 30 days and the estimated time of delivery will be in april so if you're interested in the ioneo there's your information if you're interested in the g uh, the win3 again it's also an indiegogo so you can search for it there and the what's that other one the one gx one pro is on geek buying and AliExpress and Amazon. You just heard my doorbell, so um, someone is, is coming over to my house to do some um, housework um, repairs and stuff. So I gotta get ready to go. But like I said, great time to be in the market for UMPC that are portable and that are for gaming. Uh, my preference right now is the GX1 or GX1 Pro. 
Yeah, and that's mainly because it has a full keyboard. But I will tell you more about that. I just want to give you the information about the new contender that I am Neo. So you got your information. Um, if you don't want one, let me know in the comment section uh, which one that you are going to get for yourself. So that's it in the video. If you like the video, leave that thumbs up on the bottom. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about my channel. And I hope to see you.